Yo, what's going on guys? It's Game Snapback, and welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually repopulate an area, bring villagers into an area, and make it a very successful village, and just make it thrive. Now this is super useful, because villagers can actually, uh, they can give you mending books, and just all sorts of special stuff. And on top of that, I think it's really fun to just repopulate an area with villagers, or just populate a new area with a ton of villagers, I just think it's a lot of fun and a really cool project to start. Now you can make your village turn from just like a desolate area with no villagers or only two villagers into a gigantic area just full of villagers such as the one that I have. Oh. Now before you actually start your dictatorship, you're going to want to clear out an area for you to build houses on. Now you can build the houses anywhere actually, just I'm pretty sure there's like a radius for the village. So just make sure they're somewhat close to each other and just make sure to build some houses. Now I just built a super basic, basic house, like this thing is super basic. But what you're going to need are beds and a light source and then just a house. And make sure that there's also a door on the house so they can leave and stuff like that. So just overall just make a basic house that you would normally make. Now each bed in these houses will represent one villager being able to spawn. So this means the more beds you have, the more villagers will actually be able to spawn and reproduce. So after you've built the house, you're going to want to go and make a farm. So just make like a basic farm, just like any other Let's Play or whatever series, and just go and make a farm, just a really simple farm, and then plant carrots or whatever you want to choose for them to breed with. Now I choose carrots because I think they're the fastest and the best way to actually do this. So just choose either potatoes or wheat or just whatever you really want. So now that you've built your farm, you're ready to get your first residence into this village. Now to actually get villagers to your village, it's pretty simple. You can make a minecart system where you just put down rails and a minecart because minecarts will actually, once they hit a villager, the villager will just transport into the cart and then you can just transfer it back to your area. Now that's what I did for my survival world. But in this creative world, I'm just going to spawn them just so it's a lot easier and I don't know where a village is at in this world. So yeah, I'm just going to spawn them with spawn eggs and then you guys can bring them however you want. You can go by boat or by minecart, which are the two simplest ones that I know of. So once you've successfully transported them to the houses, you'll realize that some emeralds will pop up and that means that they are at home. Now as long as your houses reach the requirements for them, they should live in that house. So once you successfully have about two villagers, and you have more than two beds in your little village, you can start to breed them. Now the way you do this is you place a composter, and what the composter will do is make one of them a farmer, and the farmer will keep replenishing the food, and therefore they will start breeding much, much faster than they would if you were just throwing food at them. So maybe just to start out, try just having two of them, make them reproduce, and then make one of them a farmer, because this will make it a lot easier, because farmers tend to be kind of hard to reproduce, I don't really know why, but sometimes they just are stubborn and do not want to, so just actually get three of the villagers instead of two, it'll make your process a lot easier. So just wait until the farmer starts collecting food, and then he'll start throwing it at the other villagers, and then they will start getting red hearts and reproducing as long as you have enough beds in your village area. Now what I would recommend doing if you're trying to get a ton of villagers, is build a giant house and then fill it with a bunch of beds. Just like completely fill the entire area, like the little area that I show you in this video. I just make like this little bunker type area, it looks trash, but it has a ton of beds and therefore they will reproduce a lot faster. Now I'm not sure if you place villager like crafting stations if they will actually reproduce faster or not, but in order to get them to actually give you like mending and stuff like that, you're going to need these sort of crafting things, so you might as well just make them. And so from there, you can just keep expanding your farms, expanding more houses and more houses until it ends up like a huge village. Just make sure if you're on Xbox or PS4 or something, make sure to not make it as big as mine, because mine makes the game super, super laggy. So just keep that in mind if you're doing this on console, just make sure that there's not a ton of villagers. Like, I mean, I think I have around like 400 villagers, something crazy like that, and it just makes the game lag a lot. So just... Make sure that you can manage the amount that you have and make sure that they're not lagging the world. And so yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.